did he did you find any evidence of him uh, uh, making any kind of monetary value off of uh, off of the uh, identity I got it. theft charge? I got the story. I got the story. You got this. Uh, no, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, Mr. Boot, I'm going to go ahead and swear you in at this time. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth so help you, Jess? Of course, of course. I swear it. I swear it, man. On my grandma's right, life. Sir. Let me... May she rest in peace okay, forever. On grandma's life. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. All right, sir. Let me hear your statement as to the charges of. All right, man. Here's how it goes. All right. And let me finish talking first, Mr. Buddha. Let me cover this for you so you know. You told right. me to speak right. slowly and clearly for you. Yeah, right. yeah. Appreciate it. You I look good, by the way. Everything. I understand I look good. <laughs> I want to hear everything that pertains to the impersonating charge. And identity theft. All right, let me know what to go. I remind you that you are under oath. You are prepared. You can proceed. All right, man. So it all started on a night like tonight, man. I'm cruising around town, motherfucker, looking good, feeling good, looking for ladies to bottles to eat, man. Out of nowhere, I see flash, <laughs> flashing lights, man. See cops, all right? Now I'm wanted, all right? I had warrant out for arrest, so I decide to run, man. I'm chasing, speeding, boom, boom, through speed lights, man. Turning corners, trying to escape cops, eh? Coming to crash, man. Go flying through window, man. Smack my head, arm, leg, broken, everything broken. Cannot move, bitch. <laughs> I get put in ambulance, all right? As I'm in ambulance, man, I'm trying to figure out where I am, who I am, man. Everything cloudy, blood everywhere. Can't remember shit. Injured, man. So I go through my pockets and I find ID, all right? Name of ID said Dane DeLuca. So I must have thought I was him. Because I couldn't remember shit, man. I hit my head so hard I would fly at least 30 feet through the window, man. I was so scared. So scared. No idea what's going on. So I thought maybe I shouldn't lie by telling the truth, man. And when I check my ID, they go to see I'm Dane DeLuca, man. <laughs> so I told her that, man. And I kept telling her and telling her. And then as she brought me to hospital, I started getting flashbacks of this beautiful, sexy Asian man with luscious hair, man. <laughs> Then I started to talk to Dr. Choi. She said lying like 10 times, man. The flashbacks said worse and worse, you know? At that point, I realized who the fuck I am, man. But I get down to the jail, prison cell, man. And I realized, oh my goodness, I'm Lang Buddha, man. And that's when I came out as to what... <laughs> as to who I actually was, man. <laughs> so it wasn't at the time that she brought you to the courthouse and uh, asked you uh, to purchase an ID when she actually saw who you are. No, listen, the whole courthouse situation, I thought I had no money to purchase ID, okay? Told her I had no money. She kept forcing me, forcing me, forcing me, say, you must buy ID, you must buy ID. At that I point, I tried to rest, her. I tried to grab the cash out of my pocket while I'm cuffed, okay? Guy hands me over ID. I couldn't see who, what the fuck I'd say, man. I'm handcuffed, okay? Slip it in my pocket, go to prison. Or to the holding cell, all right? So you weren't uh, trying to uh, evade the police today with a stolen identification on you with someone else's name and trying to uh, blend in? I was trying to blend in by wearing these clothes because I was wanted, yes, but not because of ID. No. <laughs> not because of ID. Well, where is your ID, sir? It's currently in where my pocket. Where was your ID at that time? Right, but before that. I must have left it at the bar, man. I was, you know, with some hookers. Bar. Little drinky drinky. Mm -hmm. With my boys. All right, Mr. Uh, Buddha, do you have anything else to say before I go back and uh, make a decision? All I have to say is if you need to talk to somebody, talk to Dr. Choi. She can tell you how screwed up I was, man. I was not feeling good. I had blood gushing out my head. She even had to remove my hat, man, because there was so much blood. All right, man? I get very confused. I get very panicked. I suffer from a lot of things, man. I'm a crack addict going through rehab. Ask my boys if you need to. <laughs> You know, sometimes the mind, you know, it's just not right sometimes, man. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mr. Buddha. Thank you, Officer Angel. And thank you. Back. You look good today, by the way, man. <laughs> yeah, I understand I look good. You've told me like seven or eight times. So uh, give me a few moments, and I'll reach a verdict. Okay, can both of you hear me? Loud and yes, clear. Honey. Hey, by the way, did I tell you you look good today, Mr. Labar? Hmm? Yes, several times, Mr. Buddha. All right, sorry. Go ahead, continue. Now, are, are you like a fashion expert here, sir, or can I can? You know, I mean, look at me, man. What you think? Hmm? And get you all sent off where you need to go. 
Sorry, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call this bench trial back into order. Uh, Mr. Buddha, I am going to find you guilty of impersonation of Dane DeLuca and having his I identification on you, sir. In no time, sir, you should be possessing somebody else's ID unless they ask you to hang on to it. He did ask me, man. Mr. You can ask him yourself. Mm, well, I can't ask him. He's not here in the court of law now, is he, sir? I deserve a witness. Hmm? He was at the stripper club. We were drinking, you know, doing other things, and I had to borrow his ID for a certain reason oh, I cannot sir. say here, man. Exactly. You didn't say it in the in the courtroom either. To snort cocaine, all right, man. I needed something to break okay. the powder up, man. Okay. All right. Do you have a drug and alcohol addiction? Do we need to get you some kind of help after this? Uh, I mean, I think it's a solution to our problem. It's not addiction, so. but you know. All right. Now, sir. <laughs> As to the charge of identity theft, I'm going to find you not guilty. Okay, right? okay. Not bad, not bad. All right, all right. So with that being said, you pled guilty to all the other charges. You were at that time, once I found you not guilty of identity theft, sir, you were facing 110 months and an $8,750 fine. I'm going to drop your time down, sir, to 90 months. The fine will stay at uh, $8,750. Officer Angel, you can send him off to Bolingbrook. Mr. Labar, yes, I order. take it you back. You no don't look so good today, man. You need yes. to shave, get the haircut, and comb your hair better. You got it. Sir, I just found you not guilty of the stupid <laughs> charge you're facing, sir. And change your tie. You look ridiculous, man. It. You need to be more professional. Yeah. I'm not professional. <laughs>